Today, we are going to talk about these two special number 1089 and 6174. We begin with this 1089. We can obtain this 1089 by using this operation. Given any three digit number A, B, C with A not equal to C. Example, 314. We can do a permutation for these three numbers so that we can get a largest number, 431, and the smallest number, 134. Next, we will take the different, then we obtain this is 7, 9, 2. From the answer 297, we will reverse the order to get 7, 9, 2. And we take the sum of these two numbers, and it will be 9801 1098. This is how we get the first one. You may try for any other three numbers, let's say 521. So 521 is the largest, 125. Then this will be 6, 9, and this is 3. After that, 693. We add up against 1089. However, we need to be cautioned when it is like 788. So for 788, the largest is 887, the smallest is 788. Okay, so when you take this, this is 99. It is only two digit number 99, but in this case, we need to add a zero. So it becomes a three digit 099. And we do the same thing here, we add the reverse order of this three digit number and therefore we still get 1089 and there's another extra thing for this 1089 that is 1089 times 9 will be equal to 9801 it is a reverse order of 1089 1089 is actually equal to square of 33 and 9801 is actually a square of 99. Next, we are going to give a proof why it is always 1089. So say we have A, B, C, three G number where A is greater than B greater than C. It can be equal, equal, but A not equal to C. So minus the three digit number C, B, A. This, this should be the smallest. So it turned out that this will be a, another three digit number. So the last digit of this three digit number should be 10 plus C minus A. This is a um, number range from one to nine. And the second digit should be always equal to nine. And for this, this is always equals to A minus C minus one. Okay, so this is the three digit number and we can see the example from here. The next operation is we take the reverse order of this number that is 10 plus C minus A, 9, A minus C minus 1. And we add this to three digit number and you can see A will cancel off, C will cancel off and we left with a 9. And this 9 plus 9 is equal to 8, fine carry on. And A will cancel off, C will cancel off, that is equals to 9 plus 1, that is 10. A very simple proof for the case 1089. Next, after we've done with 1089, now you look at 6174. We start with any four digit number, which not all the digits the same. Let's say we have this 1089. We can arrange this four digit number so that you can have the largest four digit number that is 9810 and the smallest number will be 0189. You take the different, this is 1, 2, 6, 9. And we do the same thing again for this newly found number and we take the different, that is 2, 5, 3, 8. And we'll continue. 8532 2358 and this is 4 
seven one six six one seven four then we take the largest to be uh, seven six four one and the smallest will be one four six seven and we take the different this is four seven one six when you reach six one seven four then you go back to this number and what's interesting about this six one seven four is that no matter what is the four digit number that you have as long as not all the digits the same then eventually you'll get this number 6174 and it will be always stay there for this number 1089 there's only three steps to get 6174 for some other four digit number you may spend more than 10 steps you can track it and let me know what is a four digit number that have the most number of steps to reach 6174 so far it seems that there is no proof why all these number will go to this 6174 but i think people have tried for all possible four digits all of them get the same conclusion you can try and have fun that's all for today's lesson i'll see you again bye bye